The member from Oshawa. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Premier. During this election campaign, this Premier established a very public relationship with Mr. Trudeau, and I think communities across the province are wondering whether that on-screen relationship will translate into a real relationship when it comes to policies and strengthening our province. This government has talked a good game about supporting manufacturing, but talk is easy when you don't have a willing partner. Well, the Premier says she finally has found a federal member partner Member from Lawrence is warned. So what will that mean for manufacturing? We need a plan to keep jobs in this country and communities working. Up until now, when it has come to manufacturing, the feds haven't been willing to be at the table. So what can we expect now? Will the Premier please tell us how she intends to bring her new federal partner to the table to protect jobs and figure out a solid manufacturing strategy? Thank you. Thank you. So, Mr. Speaker, I know the Minister of Economic Development is going to want to speak to the specifics of what is happening in manufacturing in Ontario, Mr. Speaker, because, in fact, we have a very good story to tell, Mr. Speaker. There are challenges. Obviously, we are in a transition. But, Mr. Mr. Speaker, to the point that the member opposite, the member asked about uh, the relationship with the federal government. It's true. I made it very clear that the people of Ontario, that their best interests would be served by having a federal government that was willing to work in partnership with the premier of this province, Mr. Speaker. It was willing to sit down with. with the Premier of Ontario and Premiers across the country to determine how best to engender a business climate that would draw more business to Ontario, that would create jobs, Mr. Speaker, and that would make the investments that we need in Ontario and across the country. I'm thrilled that we have that, that partnership now, yes, Mr. Sir. Speaker. It's not something that was just superficial. There is going to be a working partnership between this Prime Minister and the, province, the Premiers of the province. Thank you, Speaker. Harper signed a trade deal that possibly binds the incoming government and that casts a shadow across all of our communities. Projections of job losses across the country, across our communities, are staggering. As many as 24,000 jobs in the auto sector will be impacted by the TPP across the country, potentially 1,500 jobs in Oshawa alone. All jobs are important, and communities are going to be sorely impacted. If the Liberals are really interested in protecting good jobs, then they would listen to the communities that are affected by this deal, communities like Oshawa. They are saying that it's time for the federal government and provincial government to sit down with the municipalities that rely on manufacturing and will be affected by this deal. This deal has fewer protections than the Americans were able to get. It's a lopsided deal. Will the Premier use her new federal connections to develop a solid manufacturing strategy and protect Ontario jobs? And Please tell us Question. where are our assurances that jobs won't be wiped out. Thank you. Senior. Infrastructure. Minister of Economic Development, Employment and Infrastructure. Well, well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and we do agree that having a strong federal partner when it comes to partnering with our businesses and growing our manufacturing sector is really important. But it's also important in this party for all political parties to support the efforts we're making to build that strong economy. It would be really helpful to have a third party and a third party leader, Mr. Speaker, who understands the importance of building infrastructure, because that's important to our economic competitive competitiveness for our manufacturing sector as well as our entire economy. It would also be helpful to have a, a leader of the third party and a third party that understands the importance of having competitive, effective corporate tax rates. That's one of our greatest competitive advantages in this province. So, Mr. Speaker, now that we have a strong federal party uh, that will support these efforts, now we're looking across the aisle at the third party. Maybe they'll learn something from the strong federal party that we have in place and support the efforts we need to build a strong economy. Economy, invest in infrastructure and invest in building a good environment for investment in Ontario. Thank you. 